This is part two of dethroning into ego. In the last lesson, we looked at how we create this ego identity that's tied to achievement and how that distracts our attention. We get a sense of self-importance based on this comparison to our achievements or lack of self-importance. Here we want to look at how the ego can change the way we think, like uh, change our thinking patterns specifically around creating all or nothing thinking and also ignoring the consequences. A question that we can ask when we're deciding whether or not to get on a climb is, can I do it or not? So we're, we're looking at the difficulty of the climb and if it's something that's within our ability or close to it, then we might say yes. If it's not like above our ability, we say no. So this creates like all or nothing thinking especially because the ego tends to tie its self-importance, its identity to the outcome. So it doesn't want to fail. So getting on something harder uh, can lead to failure and the ego doesn't like that. So it kind of traps our motivation toward achievement and uh, distracts it away from learning. The flaw in this type of thinking at least one flaw, is that if we want to push ourselves, then we're going to be falling or failing, you know, in the ego's terms. So we need to get familiar with the consequences. If we don't, then we're going to end up taking inappropriate risks. We're going to find ourselves in over our head and facing a fall we have no experience with, it, that facing a consequence we have no experience with. So a better question to ask is what is the falling consequence? Like what is the consequence for this risk that I'm considering taking? This doesn't focus on the difficulty alone. You know, you consider the difficulty, but you're looking at the consequence and how that weighs against your experience with the consequences. So this doesn't lead to all or nothing thinking. And it allows you to take little steps to engage whatever the difficulty is. You might look at a 510 and uh, it's maybe at your limit and you can get on it. It has similar falling consequences as a 512. So you can get on a 512 because it has similar falling consequences. You can work it bolt to bolt. You can project it. So it opens up the, your ability to take small steps to engage and have that experience. So your motivation here is not just achievement based. You know, achievement motivation is important. It gives us like direction and vision for what we want to accomplish. And we also need the learning based motivation that we utilize that we're motivated by when we're engaged in the process of the climbing, where we're struggling. So what's important here is when to utilize each of the motivations. We utilize achievement motivation before we get into the stress. You know, when we are comfortable, we can think about goals we want to achieve or in stopping points along the way, kind of check our progress. But when we're engaged in a struggle, our motivation needs to be learning based because that's what will help keep us focused in the moment. So you can practice this by looking at a climb and figuring out what is the fall consequence for that particular climb. And then ask yourself, what is my falling consequence? Or my, not my falling consequence, my falling experience. And then if, if they're close together or pretty close together, then you can engage it, you can push yourself and be willing to take the fall. And if it's not, if it's a bigger gap, then you can engage it as a no-fall zone and retreat if necessary. But it helps you engage all different kinds of climbing challenges because you're looking at the full picture. You know, you're looking at the difficulty, the goal, the, the plan and the consequence so that you can make sure you're taking an appropriate risk. So that's the lesson. You can go to warriorsway.com, get the full text and audio for this lesson. You can also check out our books. 
and our courses. We have upcoming courses on our calendar. And if you're curious about how we approach mental training, reach out to us. We'd love to work with you. Thank you.